Hey guys, welcome to another video. So this time I'm bringing you something um, a little bit more related to the AMD issues with Hotspot. Now, here I am playing uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Um, and as you can tell there, there's a 20 degree delta there between the, um, uh, the Hotspot and just the you know, the core, whatever. Um, but uh, here's a catch, okay? Here's a catch. Okay, this graphics card is about maybe, um, I don't know, one third of the side of my whole computer, like the whole system. This is a big brick. This is a 7900 XTX graphics card with the 4090 cooler <laughs> modified on it, okay? And yet, I'm seeing these type of temperatures. Completely unacceptable. I mean, considering how big this thing is. Look at that thing. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to take it apart and reapply the thermal paste and see if maybe that helps. All right guys, and here we have the graphics card. Now look at this thing, look at the size of my hand. And look at the size of this thing, okay? This thing is massive. <sighs> look at that. And yet, it's not able, able to tame, per se, the temperatures of the XTX graphics GPU. Um, pretty unacceptable considering how much money I paid for this thing over a thousand dollars. Um, and yet it's just, man, I'm very disappointed. That's all I'm going to say. So today we're just going to take it apart and, uh, apply crying out thermal greasely extreme and see if this helps reduce the hotspot temperature. That's really what I'm concerned with. Overall, the temperatures are looking okay. It's just that hot spot, that 20 uh, degree delta there that I'm not happy with. So, okay, let's take this thing apart and see if maybe we can fix this. All right, so let's see, maybe we can fix this with a simple thermal paste replacement. Now, this thing I can tell you, it's got a ton of screws that you got to remove to be able to take this apart but that's no problem nothing we haven't done before right but you're paying over a thousand dollars for our, uh, a product right and right out of, off the bat it's not working um, I mean look at this thing yeah I have to go on a rant man come on AMD or Asus Jeez, you would think, you know, with this massive freaking cooler on this thing that you would see some awesome temperatures, but instead, the freaking uh, GPU is cooking. <laughs> oh man, reaching almost 100C on the hotspot with the big old cooler. <sighs> What the heck? All right, so I think we removed all the screws. Yeah, that looks like it. All right, let's see if we can take this thing apart now. Are there any other ones that I need to be concerned with? Yep. You have to remove these two here. Very disappointed, man. I would say that, uh, or I would be voiding my warranty by doing this. Right, taking this thing apart. But it's a necessary evil, man. I mean, you can't, I can't have this, this running this hot. So you have to take it apart. And uh, okay, so far so good. The thermal paste application looks okay. So look at that. But uh, let me take that back. As you can see, it's kind of like, 
it has this area here where everything is all right, but then you have this area here where it's the thermal paste is thicker. Can you see that? There. That's no bueno. Uh, shoot. Sorry if I sound like I'm being a little bit dramatic here, but I'm, dude, for this kind of money, geez. All right, so you see what, you see that area there, right? Let me see if I can get there, okay? So that's where it's making good contact, but as you can see around here and up here, it is not, all right? And that has nothing to do with the way I took off the, the cooler. That came off just fine, so I didn't have to jiggle it or anything like that. Um, RIP for this thermal pad. And I highly doubt that they're using quality thermal pads here. So anyway, let's clean this up and uh, reapply the thermal paste. Now we hit it with a toothbrush and some alcohol. Wanna be able to remove all this stuff out of here. Okay, I'm not too concerned with the SMDs really. My main objective is to clean the core or the tiplets. Make sure that they are clean and there you go. I think that looks okay so far. And yeah, these are two middle millimeter pads. So we'll go with this one here first. Get rid of this. And it looks like, um, yeah, this one up here is also two millimeter. And this one here on the VRM, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh man. For this here, we're gonna use, yeah, we gotta cut some more. there okay there we go um so this is what this looks like here and I'm hoping this will be enough so let's strip this right off it looks like it it's a one millimeter pad Yep, this is a one millimeter pad. Okay. Hmm. Might be a 1.5. I'm not sure now. Yeah, looks like a 1.5 instead. So let's do 1.5 there. Now I can tell you this from experience that there's never been a case where I'm actually able to do this and not have any issues with uh, the thermal pads uh, not fitting or being the incorrect size. It's always a hassle. It's always a problem here. Um, so we're not going to put any thermal pads on the cooler itself. We're going to go straight for the GPU. Okay, there. And then we'll remove the blue strip. So could we make this reach, I wonder? Maybe, if we stretch it a little bit. Might get lucky here, yep. A little bit of stretching and never hurt anybody. There we go. Okay. And that's it. That's the, uh, that's full of thermal pads there. Okay, so let's put this stuff away. All right, let's apply Thermal Grizzly Cryo, not extreme. I want to just be able to put thermal paste on this thing and walk away and forget about it. And I think that this is the perfect case here. So why don't we do that? 
with thermal uh, with with this pace here you have to go slow you can't rush it because if you do you have um, gaps in between because the pace will just break if you get what I'm saying I don't know if that makes any sense but um, so you have to just let it glide over the surface here otherwise you will get a gap okay that's a pretty good uh, thick coat of thermal paste there I may say all right guys so that's what that looks like there so let's put this thing back together yeah um, first things first we have to make sure that everything is in place and it's not gonna fall off when we flip this upside down okay that's plugged in and that's plugged in all right let's put this I don't want to call it junk because jokes on me if I do that but uh, man I almost feel like I bought junk That's just my personal opinion. Okay, there we go. Um, you have to be careful with the way these things go on because if you do it like this, you could destroy your graphics card because you see how it's kind of more rectangular here. So elongated, whatever. Um, so these things only you, yeah, you have to be careful how you put them on. Because if you do it the wrong way, you could be uh, destroying one of the SMDs on the back of the card. Man, I really hope that this fixes this problem. I don't want to have to take this card apart again. And the reason why I say that is not really that this is difficult. I'll show you what I mean right now. When I try to put this... I try to install this back into the system. It's a pain in the butt because of how tall this thing is. So to get, to install it into the PCI slot as I have it like this, I have it in a vertical position. So to be able to reach around here to put the screws in, it's a pain in the butt, really. It is not the easiest thing. So. I have to get a little creative there and use a different type of screwdriver. Something that is thin and actually fits back there. And as you can see there, or maybe not, it looks like they are make contact, making contact with the heat sink. Um, yep, there's definitely contact there. As you may or may not be able to see there. Okay. Um, all right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's go ahead and put this back into the system and see how the temperatures look. And hopefully, we have resolved this problem with this graphics card. Okay. Okay, so here's the setup. I have a, a vertical mount here for my riser so that I... Uh, the card can be installed vertically because these cards here this big and how heavy they are they should be installed like this if you're gonna buy something this expensive uh, 4090 or 7900 XTX with a cooler of this size don't be goofy and install it horizontally that's going to crack the PCB it's going to crack that right there um, so you want to install this vertically all right Let's, let's see how this goes. Okay, so um, this thing is installed again. And remember what I was telling you about the mounting procedure here? How this sucks? Well, let me just kind of show you. So if you're trying to screw this thing onto the case, you see how little space you got in between there? Let me just focus real quick. Sorry, guys. Let's see how little space you got 
in between here. So I truly wish you good luck. Okay. Um, <laughs> when you try to remove the cards like this, this high, um, yeah, I say that you should have it in a, in a vertical position because that's just to protect your product. But at the same time, it's a pain in the butt, you know, with those two screws. No big deal, but just so you know, uh, you may have to remove the fan here to give you more clearance there. But, uh, okay, let's start this thing and see what the temperatures look like. All right, so we, um, we're going to take a look and see what the temperatures look like. It looks like I've got a 15 degree Celsius drop on the hot spot. And uh, overall, it looks like, um, yeah, the card is running cooler. I have been at this same spot here for some time now. Um, and the card is at 100%. And the fans are just spinning uh, as usual, normally. So, but as you can hear, this thing has a horrible coil line. Yep. Um, I mean, I don't really hear it over my uh, headphones, but it is there. Um, and yeah, the temperatures did drop significantly, actually. We we're at 95, now we're at 80 on the hot spot. Even though the delta is still pretty, uh, there's a pretty big gap there. I'm still happy with those temperatures. Anyway, that's all I had to uh, come to you guys with for today. Just uh, a quick uh, teardown of the Asus Tough RX 7900 XTX and Thermal Pace uh, replacement to help with the uh, hotspot issue. That's it. Hope you guys take care. If you like the video, you know what to do. If you don't, you also know what to do. Please subscribe for more videos, more content coming up. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.